Hi everyone, this is Jackie and I'm going to show you a Valentine's cuff. Um, I've gone ahead and loaded my brush with um, pink, white, and red. So I'm going to do a cuff right here on the cr across my wrist. Um, I'm going to start over on the edge here with a flat three quarter brush and I'm going to just bring that straight across my wrist making sure that the colors stay exactly where I'm laying them. And I got a nice little cover cover there. Take it around the edge a little bit. And I'm going to reload my brush again. The white is kind of pink and it really shouldn't be but now I'm gonna flip my brush over keeping the what is supposed to be white in the center and I'm going to come right back laying the white over the white and just come back the other way and I'm making kind of a, a gradient um, cuff And this is, of course, for Valentine's Day. Um, pretty little little cuff there. I've been really working hard at trying to get this lighting right for you guys so that you'd be able to see it. I can see the light glaring in this part and um, off from the corner, this corner of my uh, wrist. And I do apologize for that. Um, i got to figure out how to get the lighting correct in here. So anyway, you're going to bring this down around your wrist um, to a cuff where it's below, you know, like this side of your um, wrist. But um, for time's sake, I'm going to skip that part and stay where I'm at. And I'm going to now pick up a smaller brush and I'm going to load it up with white. This is a Princeton and I believe it's a number two. Princeton um, and what I did because a, a, a wide cuff is usually <clears throat> a little on the uh, rougher side I wanted to <clears throat> excuse me I wanted to lighten it up a little bit so make it a little more uh, foo foo so I took and made these little skinny half circles all the way across the bottom of the cuff just going about keeping a little bit of space but mostly trying to keep them all even and then we're going to go back across on the other end of the cuff and we're going to do the same thing and trying to keep them all pretty even which is easier said than done believe me Okay, so that kind of feminines, feminizes, feminines, whatever, um, that kind of gives it a little bit extra um, appearance. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and I'm going to flick down three times on my first one. Give it that nice little florally or whatever you want to call it, little flower design. I'm going to do that on every other bump. I apologize that my hand's in the way. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So you've got a nice little <clears throat> bracelet going on there. Now two different things that you can do. You can either put flowers in there, one big one, and then one smaller one on each side, which is really cute. But because of Valentine's Day, what we're going to do is we're going to actually take, <clears throat> excuse me, I guess I got a frog in my throat tonight, and we're going to put in a nice big red heart. Just give me a chance here to load up my brush. 
I'm going to use a flat brush for making this heart because um, my other brush is being used. And we're going to fill this entire heart in as well. Make sure that we've got good coverage so that it stands out off from the pinks and the reds that are already there. And sometimes you have to go over it a couple times, but, you know, wait for the paint to dry and go over it again. But we've got um, the start of a nice heart there. And you can always highlight it and uh, go around it in white or black, whichever you prefer. Um, being that I'm going on the lighter side of things, I'd probably go around it in the white rather than the black. Sometimes these colors are hard to see when they're on top of each other like that. But I, I do like what I have going on here. And these little cuffs are cute. You can make them, you don't have to make them that thick either. Um, you can just go with what you have and that would be good enough. But um, I like the wider cuffs, that's just my preference. Now I'm going to pick up some white on a very, very thin, thin believe this is a paradise. It is. It's a paradise and it is a mm, 810. AQ810. Um, I like this brush for lining. It does a great job. So what I'm going to do is go around the heart um, or attempt to. The lighting here is a little funky for me too. did have a nice big fluorescent light but my husband took it. He needed it for his workshop. So we were going to get another one and we just haven't done it yet. So hopefully you're a better outliner than I am. Now we're going to put in our um, highlight on our heart. Just like that. And you can embellish however you like. I am going to uh, just put in a few dots here and there at the base on each side. I don't know. Hearts, hearts and dots always go together, I guess. And then up here, too. I think it would be too much if we put them all over, so I like to just keep them out at the four kind of at the four corners but there you go there's a pretty little design for Valentine's Day I'm really trying to work this lighting I don't know how much you can see let me try and stand it up here for you yeah the lighting's pretty bad there we go we're getting there we're getting there woohoo there we go that's a pretty decent um, lighting for you to see it and I hope this is one that you'll have the opportunity to use or, or try. It's, it's just quick, fun, takes only a couple minutes, not even. And um, everybody seems to like it. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already done so, please write, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if I'm on the right track. Thank you, and everybody have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye now.